Joining me here this morning in the studio, our good friend Jody Leslie. Been a few years since she's been here. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, it's <laughs> been uh, since 2011, I think. Is that the last? Oh, wow. Is that the last time you had uh, McDonald's pancakes? Too? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing those in. <laughs> well, I was going to make you. I was going to make you protein pancakes, the banana blueberry one. <laughs> And my husband's like, yeah, that's probably a bad idea because he doesn't like them. And then he was like, well, maybe I'll make him my pancakes and you can make him yours and we'll see which ones he likes better. And you decided... I just decided to buy McDonald's because McDonald's. I know you'll like my husband's pancakes better. So <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't take the rejection. <laughs> well, it's so nice to have you uh, here joining us once again. It's been a while. Um, I guess it's been four years, and here yeah. you are. Brand new album mm-hmm. that is uh, going to be coming out here fairly soon, which is already available on iTunes. Yes. Let's talk about it. Well, it's called Born for the Unknown, and I think, so today we have the title track here to play. Um, but I wrote for the album, and I recorded it in Nashville with uh, Todd Robbins, who's engineered Kelly Clarkson, Trisha Yearwood, a bit with Garth Brooks, awesome guy. And um, he brought in all his, um, what did he call it, dysfunctional joined at the hip friends, which (laughs) included Phil Madeira, who writes with Matricia Berg, and he's won a Grammy for his work with the Civil Wars, Um, and Bruce Booten on um, guitar, who tours with Reba, a, a whole bunch of really great, fun guys to work with. Yeah. So that was neat. And I, I didn't go to Nashville. I just FaceTimed in through the magic of technology. Oh, sweet. And saved myself a bit of cash. <laughs> so it was great. Yeah, it was great working with them. Yeah, and, and this actually uh, took a little while to record and have it complete. Mm-hmm. Um, because of the fact that they were in Nashville and uh, you're here. So yeah, other projects that they got going on there as well. It just uh, took a little longer to get this complete. Yeah. Well worth the wait, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, is it what you expected? Everything and more? <laughs> it's, it's everything and more. Like, yeah. um, when I first got on the phone with Todd, it was really cool because we were talking about arrangement for some songs because I had just sent him down my, you know, scratch tracks, which, which means my acoustic guitar and me singing. Mm-hmm. And he said for the song Still Frames, he said, I hear strings on this. And to this point, I had never had real strings on any album of mine. And I think I probably shed a tear when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we collaborated so well. Everything that I imagined for it, he just... You know, he just knocked it out of the park. And there's one song um, that he brought in um, a fiddle player who was on tour with Bob Dylan. And her her stuff is just amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, definitely beyond my dreams. I'm thrilled with it. Now, this album, it really took on, a, um, I guess, a life of its own because you... Were you expecting to get some of that instrumentation in the album? Was it like on the back of your head? Maybe possibly it'll happen? Yeah, it was actually probably just a dream, you know. <laughs> and um, But we just sort of, you know, if you, if you uh, shoot for the stars, at least you'll hit the moon, that type thing, you know. And sometimes you've got to take that leap of faith as an artist and, and do what you feel is artistically really imperative to the project and I'm so glad that I did that. Yeah. Jody Leslie is here with us in the studio. She's got her new album, uh, Born for the Unknown, which uh, is already available on iTunes, but the actual CD, well, you said they are, they're on the way. You're going to be receiving those any day now. (laughs) That's right. Maybe the guy in the UPS truck is listening to it now. (laughs) (laughs) Folks can download the album right now on iTunes. Now, uh, Born for the Unknown is the name of the album. So that's the uh, title track, but it's not actually the the first single that's being released. Yeah. The first single um, is called Let Me Go Crazy. And uh, because sometimes I am. (laughs) (laughs) 
and that's the one that uh, I'm working with an excellent tracker who's sending it out across Canada and that's the one he chose mm -hmm. and I was to be honest kind of surprised because it was the last song I recorded and I almost didn't put background vocals on it and I think I wrote it in 20 so when wow. he said that's the one he wanted to send out I said no <laughs> <laughs> for probably about two weeks. And I just threw every other song at him. Would you consider this one? How about this one? What about this one? <laughs> and he said no. And so we, we, we did it his way. <laughs> now, the whole album itself, actually, you wrote all the material. Yes, yeah. yeah. I did. Did uh, you get anybody from that end, uh, oh, Nashville, wanting to uh, tweak a little bit of... Uh, to, of the songs to tweak the writing no yeah, i no? didn't uh, you know it was <laughs> it was pretty neat actually yeah. because um you know when they were listening to the scratch tracks which is just me and my guitar <clears throat> and i'm facetiming in i could hear the guys going yeah yeah you know yeah. and that means a lot to me as a yeah. as a writer oh, it would. you know and uh one thing i really appreciated them saying was oh this sounds different it doesn't sound like anything we've heard right now and that means a lot to me too so um I've still got way more to learn, right? It's yeah. Never ending. Quite a compliment. Means a lot to me, yeah. You know, from, you know, professionals, you know, such as them, mm -hmm. to really be Im impressed. And you know what? I mean, this is not the only time. I mean, you, you've got your, your past albums, which uh, you've also wrote as well. Um, have you grown as a songwriter over the years? I'm sure you have. Yeah, I, I think I have. One of the biggest things that I've learned is to... Um, just always keep writing mm -hmm. because um, I think I, I wasn't having enough faith in myself originally. You know, I've done every album on a grant. So for anyone out there who's listening, wondering, how can I afford this album? You know, mm -hmm. there's always grants out there in Canada. As Canadians, that's something we have access to. And so I actually, um, I don't know if I really thought I was going to get a third grant. And so I wasn't just actively writing like prolifically writing and so that's one thing i've learned is you know just to, to keep on writing so that when you get the grant you're not like oh my gosh <laughs> i have to write 10 songs now <laughs> and you said that is actually quite important for anybody out there who is starting out mm. that there is that available for any canadian artist who's wanting to you know Make it a dream for themselves to record an album. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, I mean, the Alberta Music uh, Association is one of the best associations that you can belong to for, uh, they have all the grants up on their website. Mm -hmm. So anyone has access to those and uh, that's where you get your artistic career ball rolling. Yeah, well, that is uh, great information for anybody out there who is uh, wanting to, you know, do something like your project. You know, mm -hmm. record a record an album and uh, make it a reality. Yeah. Because I'm sure, as you were writing these songs, I'm sure you probably remember exactly what you were doing when you started writing some of these songs. And here they are; they're all ready to go, fully produced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's funny what you what you recall. Like, there's a song called "Secondhand Ride" on there, and. Um, my husband was previously married before we got married. So we're driving down to um, Jasper for a New Year's Eve gig last year, and we had been married for almost a year. And I said, well, I'm almost last year's wife. <laughs> and we were laughing about that. And then I said, yeah, but you're my secondhand husband. <laughs> <laughs> and so there in the car, we're like, hey, this is a country song. Let's write this. And that's how Secondhand Ride came about. <laughs> Yeah. You know what, and if anybody wants to hear any of these songs, they are all available on iTunes. They are. Yeah. So you could head there to pick up the songs there from uh, Jody Leslie. Uh, Born for the Unknown is the title track. And we're going to get a chance to uh, listen to the song here in, uh, in just a second. I do have to say it's a pleasure having you coming on down and visiting with us here at CFWE. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Always uh, so much fun. Uh, Jody Leslie, brand new album, uh, is out. And when the hard copy is out, where can folks get that? They can actually order it from my website. Okay. And um, I'll mail it to them. Uh, and we're working on getting it into some, some record stores. All right. And... You're going to be out there also visiting stations throughout uh, the country as well. You're going yeah. to get out there and promote the album. Looking forward to that? 
I really am. There's yeah. Tim Hortons everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I am, yeah. I, I can't wait because I haven't... I've been to Toronto, you know, when I performed at the Grey Cup a while back, but, like, I haven't seen all of the eastern provinces, so I'm yeah. very excited for the radio tour. Yeah, well, all the best to that. And uh, I, I'm sure we'll have you back here again. Yay. Always a pleasure for you to stop on by and, uh, and pay us a visit. We appreciate it. Thanks.